can't access your Google account. Your recovery number is no longer active. Your recovery email doesn't work either. Your old phone is gone, and you've forgotten the password too. Don't worry, don't panic just yet. There are still a few ways you can try. Watch this video until the end. I'll explain everything step by step, clear, complete, and easy to understand. There's still a chance your account can be saved. Before we start the tutorial, there are some important things you need to know. Your account can only be recovered if Google system can verify that you are the original owner. That's why we need to do our best to prove it. You can do this by using the same Wi-Fi network you used when the account was still accessible. Or, if possible, use a device that was previously used to log into the account. It also helps if the device still has other Google accounts that were used together with the one you're trying to recover. All right. Let's get into it. First, let's try the fastest way, checking your Google Password Manager. This is where Google stores all the passwords you've ever saved. Usually, when you log into Gmail or another app, Google asks if you want to save your password. If you once clicked Save, your password might still be there. Here's how to check it. First, open a Google browser. You can use regular Chrome, Chrome Beta, or Chrome Dev. In this example, I'll use Chrome Dev. Let's install the Chrome Dev app first. Once the installation is complete, follow these steps. Open Chrome Dev and go to passwords.google.com. On the page that appears, you'll see a list of accounts with saved passwords. To see your Google account password, click on google.com. You may be asked to verify your screen lock. Just complete the verification. After that, all your saved passwords will be visible. If you don't see the password you're looking for, try switching to another Google account. This works if your device has more than one account. Each account has its own password manager so the save passwords could be different. To switch accounts, click the profile picture at the top right corner and choose another account. Then repeat the same steps as before. Do this for every Google account on your device. If you still can't find the password, then we'll need to try recovering the account directly. Here's how. Use a browser from Google. I'll continue using Chrome Dev. Go to accounts.google.com slash sign in slash recovery. Enter the email address of the account you want to recover. Click Next. Because you forgot the password, click E-Try another way. You'll now be asked some questions. These vary depending on the account. In my case, I was asked to enter my recovery phone number. Unfortunately, I no longer have access to it. So I clicked, I don't have my phone number.
Then I was asked to enter my recovery email. Sadly, I forgot that too. So I clicked try another way again. And in this case, there were no more options available. It means I didn't meet the recovery criteria. This account is really old. The devices I used to access it are long gone. The Wi-Fi I used before no longer exists. If you do meet the criteria, like using an old device or the same network, you'll usually get more recovery options. Sometimes you'll be asked to guess your birth date, your mother's maiden name, or even the name of a childhood friend. But if your case is like mine, your only chance is to remember the correct password. Think carefully. Did you ever log into that account on an old phone, laptop, or tablet? If yes, the account might still be logged in there. If that device is still around and not signed out, you can open the account without needing a password. Once you're in, change the password right away. You can also go to passwords.google.com and repeat the password manager steps. If the logged in account on that device has the password saved, you might be able to recover it from there. If it works, don't forget to update your recovery email and phone number. If you've tried everything and still failed, then unfortunately the account might be lost for good. But don't worry, this isn't the end. You can always create a new Google account. But this time, take better care of it. Add a phone number. Add a recovery email. Enable two-step verification. Save your password in Google Password Manager. Download your backup codes, and always update your info if your number or device changes. By doing all this, your account will be much safer in the future. A Google account is important. It holds your emails, photos, contacts, and personal data. Don't lose it just like that. Protect it. Keep it safe. In future videos, I'll keep exploring ways to recover Google accounts. Let me know in the comments if anything is unclear. And don't forget to subscribe for more helpful content. See you in the next video.